Welcome back to The Big Picture. Well, if you're not into the holiday spirit yet, our own Robbie Takik from the Goo Goo Dolls will kick it into high gear. Not only have he and his musical partner, Johnny Resnick, released a new album called It's Christmas All Over, now you can sing along with Robbie Claus and all to benefit the Music is Art organization. Welcome, Robbie. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. For our many social media fans, would you tell us about the Sing Along with Robbie Claus Friday, December 18th? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, you know, um, we've been doing an awful lot of Christmas stuff this year. Uh, you know, we were chatting before we came on air that we were at the Macy's Parade and we were at the tree lighting and Rockefeller Center. And we're going to be doing a few more uh, events for New Year's, too, uh, on uh, uh, various uh, networks, uh, <laughs> actually three different networks on uh, New Year's. So really covering the bases you know with all this so I, I figured the only thing we hadn't done yet is an actual sing-along so so i decided to uh come into my little covid studio here that uh i've been uh, locked up in in my house uh over the past little bit and uh put together my third live stream since uh the quarantines started and uh this one uh yeah it's gonna be christmas songs and some deep uh, uh, Goo Goo Dolls tracks and um, some fun stuff. Cool. Well, we're going to have a link on our WBBZ website and social media, but if someone's watching our show on air or online after the sing-along happens, can they watch the video? Uh, you know, I am not exactly sure that. At this particular point, I think it just airs uh, on a what they call a pay-what-you-can basis. Uh, you can come pay as little or as much as you want because all the money that's made that night goes to support Music is Art and the things that Music is Art does here in Buffalo throughout the years. And as we know, this has been a crazy tough year for not-for-profits. So, um, so uh, you know, any support that we can garner and any new ways we can um, come up with, uh, you know, to raise awareness and, and to raise funds, including dressing like Santa Claus and, uh, <laughs> and singing songs on the internet, uh, you know, um, are things that we try to do now to keep uh, the idea of music as art rolling here in the community. Well, you mentioned the, the very question I was going to ask you, which is what is music is art? And maybe you could what is the Music is Art Foundation? Maybe you could explain it for our viewers if, they, if they're not familiar with it. Well, Music is Art, uh, it's been going around, it's been happening for about 20 years now. Um, we started out uh, as a little festival in uh, my studio um, on Franklin Street that ran uh, at the same time as the Allentown Art Festival. And uh, that went on for a few years and uh, we gained a lot of support. And, uh, branched out on our own and um, last year well not last year the year prior we had uh, 20 stages you know over over 20,000 people in attendance and uh, uh, of course last year was a little different um, you know uh, we were online uh, as is a lot of the stuff now that we uh, are doing with music is art um, you know a lot of what we did was uh, traditionally, it was getting people together to to perform together, to experience music together, to experience the arts together, to to create music together, and those kinds of things. And uh, that's gotten tough, uh, you know, when uh, social distancing is is, is our uh, uh, credo for a little while here. Um, so we've decided to move ourselves online. And uh, like I said, last year's festival was online, and. Uh, we have a couple of other uh, uh, programs that uh, we're running online at the moment. So, um, yeah, we're just slugging it out here, trying to make it through until, uh, and it looks like we're on our way, uh, uh, until we get back to some sort of state of normal again and can get in room right. and start celebrating together again. Yeah. Well, everyone here at WBBZ is proud to help support Music is Art all year long. We were recently a part of your virtual video team. How did the September virtual event go? Was it successful? Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was our first venture into doing something like that. So uh, I certainly learned an awful lot, you know, uh, as I did the first year we did a festival 20 years ago. Um, you know, I never, uh, we never expected this, uh, you know, to come down this way. So, you know, luckily due to, uh, you know, John and, and, and all the amazing folks at BBZ, you know, and uh, 
so many other people here in the community. You know, we were able to pull something together and uh, in what seems now to be a, 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 a sort of a window of opportunity, um, you know, got safely got the musical community together with no audiences and still were able to to uh, showcase a lot of what, what of what goes on here in Buffalo. So it was I, I think it was a successful year for us. As, as uh, accommodating everything that's going on, that's what we're all doing. You know, I really am curious about how you decided or why you decided to do a Christmas album, and which is so fantastic, but it's unusual uh, for you. I don't know if it's the first, but what made you decide to do it? I don't think it's, we, we didn't set out to do a Christmas album. Um, we got asked to do a song and John thought of a song he might want to do and we thought, wow, that might be something kind of fun to do. And so we were going to record a couple of songs and uh, make sort of a deluxe edition of uh, our, the uh, release that we had just put out earlier in the year for Christmas time. And um, John got in the studio and started working and sort of got the bug. He, he loves Christmas, man, just loves it. And uh, so we ended up rolling and uh, uh, making some... Uh, uh, making some pretty interesting music, I think, you know, much different than what people are used to hearing from us. Right. It's a mix of new songs and standards, right? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We want to remind everyone you can find out more on your website, googoodolls.com. Now, we saw you on the Macy's Day Parade show and at the lighting at Rockefeller Center. And the first thing I want to say is how upset I was that they, they said you were from New York, period, and not <laughs> from Buffalo. Did you, did you catch that? I was like, yeah, no, yeah. Buffalo, because people are going to think yeah. New York City. But what was it like? Because uh, with all the restrictions, particularly the Macy's Day Parade, it was so different. Uh, I've watched my whole life, as I told you. I, I went there in person when I was a child, and it was so different the w that they did it, you know, with all the restrictions. What was it like for you? Well, this is the third time we, we've done the Macy's Parade. So the first two times there were, uh, you know, a few million more people there <laughs> than there were this last time. Uh, they just sort of rolled us up in front of Macy's and, and uh, we shot the song. So it was very much so like a, a TV show. So the pageantry really wasn't there, uh, you know, uh, as it was and just the spectacle and, you know, looking up and seeing people, you know, 50 stories above your head, looking down at you waving. And, you know, I mean, it's just so exciting, but, uh, you know, just being asked to be involved, uh, um, although they did call us classic rockers for maybe the first time in my life. <laughs> yeah, uh, right, I heard so that. yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I, I, uh, lunged at Al Roker <laughs> at my TV. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm coming to get you Al. But uh, anyway, <laughs> but, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was great to be asked to be there. And like I said, we did the Christmas tree lighting again, which was the second time we had done that down in Rockefeller Center. And that was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, people are holed up right now in their homes. And, um, you know, a lot of what they're experiencing in life is through their devices and their sets. So uh, it was nice to uh, at least have a little piece of people's holidays, maybe brighten things up a little bit you know, for folks. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, this Friday when we do the sing along, you know, we can get some people to uh, sing along and have a little bit more fun with us. Well, we here in Buffalo, I don't know, I'll speak for myself, but everybody, we're so excited for your national attention that you're getting. And as I said, even though they don't, they don't say Buffalo, they said New York, but we know it's Buffalo in our hearts now. <laughs> Things have been different for you, I guess, now that you're married for many years and you have a beautiful daughter and Johnny's yeah. married with children too. So uh, has life changed, especially in this past year? Yeah, I get up when I used to go to bed quite honestly, uh, you know, with a, with an eight year old in the house, um, you know, uh, there was a lot of, uh, homeschooling going on, you know, during the quarantine. And that was, that was, uh, an interesting phase of my life. And I had never in the past 25 years spent a summer home. If we're not touring here in the U S we're touring, you know, abroad. So I got to see how hard it was to grow a pumpkin and, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, see my grass get long and, uh, you know, short again. And, you know, Take care of the yard and uh just spend some quality time with my you know my family even though 
you know, it was just our little nuclear family here in our house. You know, it was a, a silver lining, you know, to a, you know, weird situation for a guy who travels for a living, so. I was thinking yeah. about that and we were gonna ask you what it's like without touring because not just you, but all of the bands or all of the groups that can't be touring. It, it must be culture shock, right? It must be really hard for you. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, now it's getting long is what the problem is. Like a lot of guys kind of, you know, you got to think about the ripple effect that this has had, you know, yeah. like from, you know, the, uh, the stage text to the ticket takers to the, you know, folks who own the restaurants outside the venues, you know, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Um, you know, it's sad, but, you know, we're not the only industry that's facing this right now. So, you know, we'll get through it just like everybody else will. That's sure. the best. That's the best attitude. The last big yeah. local show we saw you on before the pandemic was right here, our very own Variety Kids Telethon that we produce right here. You really give so much back to the community. So do you realize what a big difference you make in especially here in Buffalo, especially in Western New York? I just like being in a place where it feels like, you know, if you try a little bit, you can make a difference and people appreciate it, you know, and that just doesn't go for me. That goes for, you know, so many people in this community, you know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, I lived in LA for a long time and, uh, you know, it was a fun place to be and stuff, but, you know, I was, when it came time to have a family and, and, uh, you know, move on with my life, I, I sort of felt like this was the place to be. Well, we know a secret about you, at least John told me the secret, and it's that you uh -oh. like Pez candy dispensers. <laughs> so is that on your Christmas wish list? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. I, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's funny, since my daughter was born, I, 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 I used to be like an avid collector, like to the point where it was like a sickness, you know, but uh, I've, I've, I've sort of re uh, removed myself from that sort of thing, and uh, I collect guitars and stuff a lot more now, quite honestly. <laughs> that's, that's a better one for your Christmas list. What but I do, about, but I do love what Pez, about, I love Pez. <laughs> okay, what about 2021? Uh, can you think that far ahead? What would it be like for you and the, and the, and the group? Well, we have a tour starting in July um, that, we're, that we're praying is, is gonna happen because uh, just for so many reasons, people need live music, people need to sing, you know, people need to be out. And uh, so I'm hoping that it happens safely soon and uh, we'll be out there in July with a full on tour of the US, you know, we can make up those 70 dates that we canceled this summer, hopefully. Yeah. So you can think that far ahead. <laughs> I keep thinking ahead. Yes, well, you know, uh, that's all we can do is, is plan and hope. I'm sure everybody feels the same way. What is Absolutely. your Christmas wish for all of our viewers? Uh, I hope the vaccine gets here quick and I hope everybody gets a shot and we can go out and start kissing each other on the lips again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we hope so too, I hope so too. So Robbie, yeah. Robbie, we wish you and your family and the Goo Goo Dolls a happy and healthy holiday season. Thank you so much for joining us today. You On behalf of myself, yeah. my family, and everyone involved with the big picture, we wish you happy holidays and a safe and happy new year.